Weather with Damian Lotus. Winter weather is back in the forecast here as we head throughout today. Got some flurries this morning, but the main show is going to make its way into the forecast here as we head in this afternoon. We could see some pretty decent snowfall accumulation totals for today. Let's get you out the door first here for your early Wednesday. A winter weather advisory is in effect for western and southwestern parts of the state. Now, a couple more counties could be added to this, including the Oklahoma City Metro. This winter weather advisory is in effect until midnight tonight. And for this morning, a live look at our storm scanner. We got some snow flurries developing across western parts of the state. These are going to slowly start to work their way to the west, so we could see some flurries this morning, but our main chance of snow is going to make its way into the forecast as we head into this afternoon. For today, this morning, we are off to a cold start as well. We have temperatures in the teens and 20s outside. Some breezy winds as well, so whenever you factor in the winds, this is what it feels like. We have some single digit wind chills here across northern parts of the state and northeastern Oklahoma. Feels like 16 right now here for Oklahoma City. As we head throughout the rest of the day, your hour by hour planner, partly cloudy skies right now, but once the sun comes up at 7 34, I'll be tracking cloudy skies. And as we head into the afternoon hours, that's when we're going to start to see those snowfall chances ramping up. It looks like the peak chance for snow for the Oklahoma City Metro is going to be right around that afternoon drive home. So definitely going to be watching out for those impacts. For today, 9 o'clock this morning, future track radar showing cloudy skies for us by about lunchtime. Here comes that snowfall making its way across western Oklahoma, working its way into the Oklahoma City Metro about around 3, 4 to 5 o'clock. Here's a snapshot at 5 o'clock. So we will see snowfall possible here for central and the southwestern parts of the state. And this is during that afternoon drive home. So there could be some traffic impacts associated with this. But as we head into the evening hours, here's 10 o'clock tonight. The snow will start to taper off and push its way into eastern Oklahoma. And then we'll start to clear out here as far as the snow falls as we head into the overnight hours. Before today, I'll be tracking highs in the 20s and 30s. So it is going to be a cold day here setting up for us. We're going to be in the mid 30s here for the Oklahoma City metro as we head throughout today. But everybody wants to know how much snowfall are we going to see? Well, right now, it looks like the highest bands, the highest totals from the heaviest bands, are going to be from southwestern into central parts of the state. Now, this is the latest computer model projection. Now, if this projection is shifted southwest or southeastern by about 20, let's say 20 to 30 miles, these two, three, four inch totals could be closer to the Oklahoma City metro. So, definitely going to pay attention to this. Basically, what this is is that wherever these heavier bands line up, we could see those two, three, even three plus inch totals possible here for some parts of central Oklahoma. Latest projections have here for the Oklahoma City metro anywhere from a half an inch up to two to three plus inches of snowfall totals. So, definitely going to be watching that. But it is consistently showing that most of the snowfall totals look like they're going to stay off to our west and off to our southwest. But definitely going to watch this here as we head into this afternoon because this is going to be heavy enough to where it could cause some traffic delays and some traffic problems for some parts of the state as we head throughout this evening, tonight, and possibly even into tomorrow morning. And for tomorrow morning, it's going to be another cold start with overnight lows in the teens and 20s here for us with wind chills once again in the single digits. So for today, tracking that threat of winter weather back in the forecast, watching out for the afternoon hours about 12 to 5 is when we're going to see the peak chance of snowfall tapering off as we head into this evening. So definitely watching those impacts for the afternoon drive. After that, we'll see a rebounding forecast Thursday and Friday, partly cloudy skies, highs in the 40s. The weekend looks great. Sunny skies, highs in the upper 50s to low 60s. But after that, an early peak of next week, Bria, could be tracking another chance of winter weather by about midweek. So I'll continue to watch that. But in the meantime, tracking that threat for winter weather here for today, we will see some pretty good snowfall accumulations. I'll continue to track that and I'll keep you forewarned. All right, thank you, Damien. Well, up next, we'll